الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه رضي الله عن أزواجه وذرياته وأصحابه وأحبابه وتابعيه أعلى معكم برحمتك يا Many many themes came surahs that were the ayahs that were recited after Surah al Kahf as well. <coughs> Among them is we were really in the atmospheres of the awliya, of awliyaullah. Awliya is a plural of wali. And wali comes from wala, and wala means closeness. And that's opposite of adu. Adu comes from running away, which means enemy. Waliyullah, Haduullah. The close to Allah, the away from Allah. May Allah make us amongst his awliya. So we saw with Al Khadr alayhi salam, if you don't happen to believe he's a Nabi, I leave that he is, but it's not a definitive issue. Uh, then we have Maryam alayhi salatu was salam among the awliya. كلما دخل عليها زكريا الإحرام مريم the mother of Jesus may the best peace and blessings be upon both every time the Quran al-Karim says every time زكريا enters the place of worship where she was وجد عندها رزقا زكريا is already a prophet of Allah and a prophet or a messenger is not amazed by supernatural things like we are they because they see that all the time their veils are not as thick as uh, as ours they see more than we see what we see coloration they see affirmation anyway لكن الله says كل ما دخل عليها زكريا المحراب وجد عندها رزقا every time Zakaria sees enters the place of worship and look at the education of Mary or Maryam alayhi salam. The devotion to Allah Azza wa Jal. Zakaria enters, sees the place of worship. He sees rizq. Rizq means provision, sustenance. Wajada To the point that it amazes Zakaria, the Prophet. He tells her, Maryam, how, where is this from? How do you get this? As if it's not possible to get what, what, what you got. And here Maryam, the, the, the righteous worshipper of Allah, tells him, Huwa min indi As if she's reminding him what, what he already knows. This is from Allah. You know. You know. You know where this is from. Huh? Yeah, that you are his messenger. This is from him. Inna Allah yarzuku. She reminds him. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَرْزُقُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ Allah gives whomever He wants without accounting. Huh? Look at that. Zakaria Zakaria. As if this reminded him, you are an old man now, and your wife is infertile, she does not bring any children. And she's old. Both of you are very, very old, and your wife infertile. But guess what? In Allah yasha hisab. Allah gives to whomever He wants limitlessly. So this is when He says, "Unalika Ya Allah, give me a child. Give you a child when you're that old and you have no, and your woman is not even. You, you can do whatever you want. So you are in the Dawlatul Awliya." The state of Awliyaullah. And the, uh, the Dawlatul Awliya is an amazing state. They live in the state of Haqiqah and Haqq. And lots of people, they live in the state of Batil and delusion. Wahm. Wahm. Huh? They look at the creation, they think the creation can. The creation elevates. The creation deprives. The creation gives. The creation takes. The creation puts up. The creation puts down. That's what people with veils see. And the awliya of Allah, they are not in the state of the world of batil and delusion. They are fi alam al haqq. They only see Allah as the giver and the doer. 
They don't see the others. The others are Allah's creation. They don't give, they are ajas in and of themselves. And that's why one, one person asked me about the awliya of Allah. I said, they're looking for you in their world and they can't find you. And you're looking for them in your world and you can't find them. So if you look at the world, huh? you had Al-Khadr and Musa, I have ilm, the ilm I know that Allah taught me, you're not going to be patient with it. People hurt, hurt them, people hurt. They went to uh, eat. They, they, went, they went to a village, oh, we're hungry, give us a little bit. They refused to even give them a loaf of bread. What does Al Khadr do? He opens up a free construction company for them. Wait a minute. Yeah, man. Construction, this is labor, huh? This is not that those of those of you in construction, you know what that means. You're building walls now for them for free. The awliya of Allah, they have a different measures. I said it's a different alam, different world. Then you see Zakaria, you see Maryam alayhi salatu was salam. And that's why Allah says, فَعْبُدْهُ Look, your Lord Azza wa Jal, Allah Azza wa Jal, you should worship Him and you should have sabr, patience on, in His worship on his worship. Sometimes you say, wait a minute, sabr, patience. I need patience from not committing sins. My nafs wants to commit sins. I am holding her from committing sins. That's one kind of patience. The other kind of patience is what? That you remain steadfast in ibadah. That you stick in ibadah. You're praying, you go home, let it say, and you want to pray qiyamul lil. You said, I'm going to do four rakah today. Last week, the first week, I, the first 10 days I did two rakah. This week I'm going to do four rakah. Hopefully the last 10 days I'll do six rakah before I sleep. Uh, the second rakah, shaitan tells you, Mash, salam alaykum, wa rahmatullah, wa barakatuh. Oh, mashallah. You, are, you already are a great wali of Allah. You pray taraweeh, mashallah, listening to the Quran. This, this month your sins are less. You're doing progress. And you pray to Raka, Alhamdulillah. Allah is Kareem and you deserve it. Huh? Allah is generous and you deserve it. Why should you do it? Four more. Two is good. Mm. Two is very good. Ah, you say it, sir. Salaamu Alaikum Salaam. Oh, oops. You dive in the bed. <laughs> you dive in the bed. Oh, there are two more. Two more minutes is not going to hurt you. Matil, I would say to yourself, I would be lying. Shaitan al rajeem Allahu Akbar. Right? You do Allahu Akbar, this is interception. You intercept Shaitan. Now Shaitan has to worry about, look, I've been giving him all the marketing. He studied all the marketing techniques, all presentation, all the bullet points, everything, colors, all the presentation is not working with you. This is the path to Walaya Allah Azza wa Jal. Have patience in His worship. You will gain. You see, most people when they do business with you, if they're good people, huh, good people, they let you win and they win. Right? They tell you it's a win-win situation. Allah Azza wa Jal does a worship, tijara with you, business with you, where you're the winner. There is no win for Him. Because he's not attributed with win and loss. You're the only winner there. Whatever he gives you, you're the winner. What else do you want? Subhanallah. Hmm? And then the last thing I mentioned is the khitab of Sayyidina Ibrahim. Let me mention it really quick. With Ibrahim al Khalil, this shaksiya, this personality of Sayyidina Ibrahim, Ajeeb al Hakim Khalil, is an amazing personality. Sayyidina Ibrahim. From when he was Fatah, young man, he is in the jihad. Don't, don't worry about jihad. Jihad, we mean, you know, struggle for righteous things. Doesn't mean violence indiscriminately and killing innocent people. That's not what jihad means. That's crazy stuff. Even if they call it in the name of whatever. Huh? 
Oh dear, I mean struggle, self-struggle to improve yourself, to positively contribute to your environment, to defend your honor, to defend your nafs, to defend your property, to defend your country. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. Sayyidina Ibrahim from little, he was a little, not, I don't like to say little stuff of the law. Allah forgive me. From when he was fat, a young man. No Nabi is little. No wali is little. Little people are people like that, like me. <laughs> Stop for a moment. No, those are big people. They are not little. Ibrahim al-Khalil, when he was fata, al quran al calls him fata, fata young man, struggling huh, with the people. Struggling with the, his village, his people, his own uh, father who raised him, or uncle, Azar. It qala Ibrahim li abihi Azar, right? Right. Then, yani, Sayyidina Ibrahim became commissioned in da'wah. Now it's one thing to call onto uh, the, and, yani, what, what's the, if you were to say, what's the message of all the prophets? From Adam to Nuh, Noah, to Idris, to Idris before Noah, to Noah, to Ibrahim, to Moses, to Jesus, to Muhammad, yani Musa wa Isa wa Muhammad sallallahu alayhi What's the message? Basic one basic message. Don't worship the creation. Worship the creator. One. So I don't tell you what kind of creation. Sun, moon, whatever it is, carrots, uh, apples, whatever it is. Don't worship the creation. Worship the creator. One. And the creation always wants you to worship the creation. Ajib. They don't want you to be liberated. I want you to worship the creation. And all the prophets came to tell you, worship the creator. Do not worship the creation. Love the creation, but don't worship them. La ilaha illallah. Number two is what? Refinement. Be a better human being. Simple, yeah. Two things. Sayyidina Ibrahim anyway, now the Risala came to him. Allah commissioned him to announce his Risala. Where does he go first? His father. Or the one who, his uncle who raised him. Yeah, there's two views. Either that's his actual father, biologically, or his father had died, and this is his uncle who raised him. Both possible. Tayyip. His father was making idols, calling for the worship of the creation, with everything, everything against Ibrahim, And this is not something that the son wants, that the father saying, no, it's not the right time. This is not something that the son wants, that is of the dunya. This is something that the son is telling the father about the creator of all. How does he speak to him? وَذْكُرْ فِي الْكِتَابِ إِبْرَاهِيمِ Allah says, mention in the book Ibrahim, إِنَّهُ كَانَ صُدِّقَ النَّبِيَّ عَلَى إِبْرَاهِيمِ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ was so truthful, so transparent with Allah, and he was a prophet of Allah. What does he tell his father? قَالَ يَا أَبَتِي يَا أَبَتِي in the Arabic language means, O oh my beloved father, it's a, abati is a term of endearment. It's not, ya abba, oh father. No, 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 no. Notice, one is a prophet of Allah, symbol of iman. <coughs> the father is symbol of kufr and shirk. What else do you want? How is the adab of the anbiya? Ya abati, la ta'abudi shaytan. Oh my respected father. My beloved father, do not worship shaitan. Do not worship the creation. This is not the right way. The shaitan is shaitan is really is gonna harm you, do you wrong. Ya Abati, then he tells him again, Oh my beloved father, in I received knowledge that, that you did not receive. Look, he didn't say I have knowledge that you don't have. There's adab to kibab, there's adab. I receive, I receive, Allah sent me knowledge that He did not send you. So not to tell him, hey, the, the old man doesn't know anything anymore, huh? 
Huh? And uh, he says, what did you know? <laughs> you think you know? Muskeen, عرفت شيئاً وغابت عنك نشياً. You know one thing and you're missing so much that you don't know. And the first statement of Jahl is, I know. The Alim knows what they don't know. The Jahl thinks he knows. The Alim, the one who knows, knows what they don't know. But those who don't know, what do they think? They know. Okay. Now take this customer, last minute customer, and deal with it. <laughs> right? He knows. He tells him, Ya Abad, I received, Allah sent me knowledge that he did not send you. Allow me to share it in a sense as if he's telling him. Allow me to share it. Ya Abad, he tells him the third time, Oh my beloved father, don't do this. And his father insists every time, every time. How does Sayyidina Aswad Ibrahim end this? Salamu alaykum. Peace. The adab of the anbiya with the kuffar who are actively kuffar if they are their fathers. Right? And sometimes we say this because we have an adab issue. I'll tell you this last thing about adab. This is a point about honor. It's about chivalry, about honor. The last, the thief, the famous thief in Baghdad, Adham. Adham, he was a big thief. No, he was the chief. In Baghdad, a thousand years ago, there was a syndicate for thieves. <laughs> At least you knew who they were. That's not a bad idea. Huh? At least you knew who the thieves were. They had a syndicate. And they elected a chief. <laughs> Upon his death, he called all the thieves, all the big ones. He called them all, he made an urgent meeting on his deathbed. He told them, look, my will, wasiyah to you, do not steal from a widow. Do not steal from orphans. If you go, do not steal from the poor. If you go to a rich man's house, take half, leave half. <laughs> I am saying to myself, let's read Fatiha for his soul. Let's read Fatiha for his honorable soul. This, can you bring those kinds of thieves back? Wa sallallahu ala Muhammad wa alihi 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 wa alihi